from Techno. So if I bring in these parts, um, there's one that, there's a few that might make, the, might make this kit look a little obvious just because there's a difference in some of them for those who do know what, what it goes on anyways. So we have all of that and it's a techno short course. What? And we have, actually have two of these, but. You're gonna paint those purple? No. This is a kid itself. Ooh, let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, let me grab it. Okay, I got my knife. I just have to be careful with that one. We didn't want to see you bleed on camera. That would have been fun. I would have fallen out on the floor. Ooh, look, look what's in there. Another box. Screw this. Another, more bags and boxes. Ooh. So what do you get? Mm. Oil. Uh, probably a kit for the ARMs. That's what I'm sure. It's like then diffs. Pieces for Arms. center. And then there's the very slim chassis. Ooh, fancy. The shocks look different. Look how short the shock springs are. What? Oh, and also these, I think, uh, they go on the side in addition to... Here's the iron kit. These. Mm -hmm. There are two of these. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's enough in the box because the body shell is not in the box. What do you think about the chassis being black? Is that weird? I like it better than the, um, the tannish kind yep. that they usually have. So... In the short course truck, there are a few different parts, and when we opened the first bag, we noticed a few differences. On normal techno cars, which we're not familiar with others, but I'm expecting they're just the same, they are two metal or aluminum bins that cross into a plus sign, a T, and the short course has these two which do not separate, and they're also plastic. So that's different. And look at the center. Yeah, the gears here. are different, and they don't go together, obviously. But still, they're each. That looks very different. Most these two gears look different from this one. What about the diff housings? Do they look a little weird? Yeah. Different design, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to do this as an assembly line. Instead of following the steps and the instructions, we're just going to build all the diffs all at once. Because we're pretty sure we know how to do it. Yep. We'll be back Unless in a, it's a little different. We'll be back in a minute. As long as we get the oil on the inside, not the outside, we'll be okay. We got the diffs finished. The center diff is much bigger, much different. And the rear diff is the only one with 10 on the oil. Well, what's <coughs> different about bag C than is most techno kits? Most techno kits don't have this black one. Well, that's it's very weird looking. Different. To be a completely but honestly, black, I like, like it. You like? We are working on bag D or E, and we got bag D, C, B, and A done. And these are some bushings for it, and they're not as good as these bearings. So you got them, and, and that's going to be for the sway bar. Yeah. Then there's the original droop screws that came with the package. They have the top and the bottom except that wears down chassis and this one has it rounded off and still the bottom and then there's 
these collars, these are the plastic ones that came with the kit, except this is the ones we're using on the buggy and truggy. So we're doing aluminum instead of plastic. This part is this the weirdest This is C part. and then this is D. And these are what came with the kit, except this is C and this is D too. Um, this is what we got just cause. Well, they're adjustable. And also they're stronger. So we can use the adjustable pills. They're weird. Show the the ones that came with the kit up close. Isn't that strange? So this one has a weird backing. And it's plastic. It doesn't have any. Uh, no adjustable those. insert. And no pills. It's just plastic and rounded off. There might be some metal down inside it. And it's heavier inside. than I thought it would be, even though it's still really light. For plastic, it's kind of heavy. And that's the bird. So we got the arm, um, the camera links on, and they, that was a very painful process. To we had to set these through these so we could get the thread in there. We also used some utter butter on what would have been these, but we put them all over here from Cow RC. And we put this together, which I couldn't do the spring because I couldn't compress it correctly. On the steering. So we put all this together. And now we're going to put it on the chassis. And the steering is. Off center as always. I mean, it's supposed to be that way, but yeah, it's angled. <laughs> All right, we're up there soon. And this is our helper. <laughs> She wants to eat all the parts and look outside the window. Yeah, earlier she got on the table, so that wasn't that fun. Nope. What does she see? What is Campbell. your opinion of the build process? You want a new table again? Well, yeah, this is what coming. happened last time. A lot of stuff with the short course is really weird and different. There's bumpers, unlike on the others, but that's not too big of a difference because, I mean, short courses always have bumpers. and The shocks, though, are really different. I think these were the parts of the buggy shock shocks except this is not all of them obviously and th this is the stock piston and it goes like that into the shock well this is a short course shock but it would go into the shock and this is too small but whatever it's just a lot different is my point and these parts are plastic instead of metal, so that's also a difference. And then there are these other differences. Like on this one, you're obviously supposed to put a nut on the two ends. Except on this one, you have to put a screw in. And a tiny, that is so weird for shocks. That is totally different. And look at the, the rubber. O-rings yeah. are shaped different. They're flat instead of rounded. So what do you think? Are we going to get into <laughs> some shocking stuff now? <laughs> yeah. We'll give everybody an update in just a little while. What problem did we have with our ESC? Do you want to show everybody or the ESC okay. we had? We got a new ESC, except it's not that good. It was in our pit bag and I forgot. <laughs> we were used it and replaced the bad one. And then there's also wires that are already here and soldering, so that's not good. So that's why we have an invisible ESC. Yeah. And also we don't have a pin. But we'll fix that. <laughs> They're both on the way. Okay, more to come. Shots. So you're trying to get music? Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. It's just really loud. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. We're probably gonna try and get some spoked wheels. That's not 
now is close to full speed. I'm just trying to. The motor would blow up because oh. it's a two cell motor. <laughs> okay, racing footage coming up next right after. I need a magic. Do the magic. Ads? Uh, I Make hate ads! All right, we're off and running at race at number 19, pull on ground on short board. Now on their way. Ethan McMahon is set DQ after three rounds of qualify. Here he comes up and over the triple. And all white short board. This is 2S battery with a 4300 kV hobby wing motor. All right, what's your guess before I read it? 50. 50. What's your guess? 40. My guess is 37. Let's see. Mm. So, what is the speed that we got on that test run? Only 38. 38. I'll so, we that. have to watch out for the Amazon man. <laughs> yeah, we're well, going to go again. Yeah, that's the I thought it was the best opportunity to do a speed test. We'll see. There's so many Everyone's cars. Everyone's leaving and coming back. Everyone's either coming back from work or they're going into night shifts or something. Or they're ordering stuff from Amazon and they want their packages. Yeah. Like if we had ordered RC stuff. So we don't have any packages right now. Nope. I think you might have gotten 39. Let's see. I think uh, 41. 41. 41. I say 39. Let's see. So we managed to get it. I, my guess was 41. His guess was 39, and I got it. Got 42 on the second run. Because you had more throttle, and I think this is with a 16 tooth pinion. So if we went up in pinion or tried maybe a Tekken motor instead of hobby wing, we might be able to get more top speed. But it has a lot of acceleration for racing. So our setup, the Techno Short Course 410 2.0, 42 miles an hour in a straight line with slicks on pavement. But what's your overview? 
final review. Of I the think Shortboard this truck. thing is really fun. Uh, it's just a blast to drive. It's really fast, even with two cell. And I think you should try it. Do you think it would work for just a basher, just having fun with, even if you weren't going to race it? Possibly. If you wouldn't race it, probably. What do you think about how fun it is to race? Very fun. Very fun? Yeah. It's I, also fun to drive down the street. With I trucks. have a criticism of short course trucks in general. I don't like the body's durability. They get beat up too easily. Yeah. There's this, this big, huge body hanging out everywhere. And it doesn't take much racing for them to get all banged up. Yeah, but that was my first few on. runs, so I think I, if I get a little better, maybe the body maybe. will, or if we get a new one, it'll clear up. Yeah, I could do. Okay, I'm going to try a few more passes. I guess. Only two. We got 42 again, and we ran it up one, two, three, and four yeah. times again. It seems like 42 miles an hour, the way it's set up now, is the speed. So that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. And if a buggy and truggy are faster, I actually wonder how fast they go. So if J Concept or well, Ogo sell slicks, we might I we might wonder. have some tires that we can put on to try that would still work. We can give that a try. All right. Well, that's for later. So this has been Deal Adventures, and we'll see you on the next one.